Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Mark Peralivas, and that rhymes with for all of us, and I'm the People's Party candidate for Guelph. I hope you vote for me in October. And I wanted to show you the People's Party platform. So far, they've released, we've released, four platform planks, and I've looked at equalization and interprovincial trade. And I did interprovincial trade yesterday, so if you haven't seen that, check out the link. It's around very easy to find. Okay, today I'm going to look at firearms, and here we go. Firearms. Firearms, respecting legal firearms owners and targeting criminals, because that's important. The issue, the legal use of firearms has always been part of Canadian tradition and culture. Today, there are over 2 million hunters, ranchers, trappers, farmers, target shooters, recreational shooters, and collectors who legally possess firearms in our country. However, despite this group being exceptionally law-abiding and the most highly vetted segment in the Canadian population, the existing firearms legislation unfairly targets them, does not respect their property rights, and is highly arbitrary. Fact. In 1995, Bill C-68 created the Firearms Act, the strictest gun control legislation in Canadian history. Its most controversial feature, the creation of a long gun registry, was repealed in 2012. The Act continues to classify firearms into different categories for reasons which frequently have nothing to do with their function. Firearms can also be assigned new classifications at the whim of a bureaucrat, which is legal one day, what is legal one day can become illegal the next. Under the licensing system of the Act, the ownership of firearms has become a privilege that can be revoked or altered at any moment. Legal gun owners can lose their property and even have their life ruined by being criminally charged through their inaction by not keeping their paperwork up to date or due to moving goalposts of Canadian firearms law. Our plan. Canada's firearms legislation must protect society from the criminal misuse of firearms and prioritize the deterrence and punishment of criminals. Legal firearms owners deserve a legal framework that protects their property rights and treats them with fairness and respect. We need a common sense approach to gun control that promotes safety while removing the threat of arbitrary criminal prosecution. A People's Party government will replace the Firearms Act and supporting legislation with new legislation that will prioritize effective measures to improve public safety and fight crime in Canada. Replace the costly and burdensome licensing system with an efficient lifetime certification system for firearms owners following mandatory vetting, safety training, and testing. To avoid criminalizing legal gun owners and guarantee their property rights, this system will legalize simple, simple possession of firearms for certified Canadians as long as they use their firearms lawfully and don't commit some other crime which would disqualify them from firearms ownership. Require all firearms categories be based on function, not on looks or arbitrary political whims, and remove the in ineffective restrictions which unfairly target sports shooters but have no deterrent effects on criminals. Mandate that all future changes to firearms regulation be completed through Parliament only. This means that neither the RCMP nor the Cabinet will be able to move the legal goalposts for legal firearm owners without the, the approval of Parliament. I think that's key, personally. I think that, I think that we should be able to discuss it in Parliament. I think that that's the, that's the measure. And having a, a vigorous debate around something like that, and, and not about banning it, guns being it, not about banning, banning them, but changes to the regulations. Laws should be written by the people. The people are represented by Parliament, right? It not, not bureaucrats who say, I know, I know better. And here's a bureaucrat telling us he knows better. Let, let, let's talk how you... This one's elected. Bill Blair is an, an MP. So here's Mr. Blair being interviewed by Evan Solomon about the potential gun ban that has rumor, been rumored. Tony Clement stood on the house of the floor and asked Bill Blair, are you planning a gun ban? And Bill Blair said, I am planning on keeping citizens safe. So that is how the liberals want to spin it. I want gun owners respected. I want their rights protected. And I want criminals prosecuted for their illegal guns. But I think responsible Canadians should have the ability to get and maintain firearms, period. Okay, here's Bill Blair talking about a gun ban. Let's talk how you, how you do it. The, the government could implement this, and there's only a couple weeks left in the House, but you could do an order in council over the summer. You could do an assault weapons ban. Are you, as the minister, pushing the prime minister to get this done? Be it something that your government believes in, the, the Prime Minister's with the leader of New Zealand. He says Canada's back. This would be an opportunity. Are you pushing to get this done? I, I can tell you that for me there is no greater responsibility than the safety of our, our communities and safety of our kids. And, and I believe there's no place for those, for those 
particular weapons in our society. I've made, made my view very, very clearly known, and, and I believe it's, it's, a, it's a view shared. Uh, by my government and the views shared by most Canadians. Okay, so I just want to ma make sure I got this right. You're not ruling out an order in council to institute some kind of gun ban, some kind of weapon ban over the summer. You I, would not rule that out. Yeah, I, I want to be really clear. There is no measure that I think we can rule out that, that will legitimately contribute to, to greater safety for our citizens. And, and so. And you would I, like it to I mean, this. look, I know you. You're a cop for 40 years. I've, you I've, would support this. I've seen the devastating impact that those weapons can have on our communities. We, we saw uh, a military-style weapon used at the mosque in, in, in Quebec. We also saw it slaughtering you know, children in, in Sandy Hook. They've been used to kill police officers in, in, in the line of duty. Uh, those, those weapons, I think, represent an unacceptable risk to Canadians. And I've worked most of my life to keep Canadians safe. And so, and so I feel, believe very strongly that there is more that we must do. So if, it not, if there's no order in council this summer, which is possible, could be in the election platform. Bill Blair would want that. Bill Blair wants Canadians to be safe. So, do, so does my Prime Minister. So does my government. So that's Mr. Blair's take on a gun ban. That's to keep Canadians safe. I'm saying Canadians are responsible enough and this gun ban doesn't affect or attack the actual problem that is criminal guns crossing the border and being used by gangs or, or affiliated people. And they happen to have an access to an awful lot of fentanyl and curfentanyl as well. They seem to be being arrested in the north a lot. It's interesting, Mr. Blair. The proposals you're putting forward don't actually keep Canadians safe. A gun ban? No. Not a chance. And anything like that should need to be debated in the House before being implemented. Period. Whew. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out ppcguelph.ca where you can help us put together a very, very competitive election this fall and donate. That would be wonderful. You can check me out personally at markperolivis.com or check out the EDA at ppcguelph.ca. And if you have time or money or both, spare some donation time. And thank you. Thanks for watching.